I'm Ethan, and this is Garrett, and obviously we're from the AP Computer Science class here at Romeoville. This is the first year the class has been on, and so we're just going to kind of tell you what the class is, and if you're interested, why you should join it. So, yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, what is the Hour of Code? So, it's sort of an introduction to people who don't know much about computer science, but may want to get more into it. Um, and it's sort of to help pique your guys' interest into what um, computer science is. So, at the very beginning, you start off with very basics of code, and you use uh, what's called block coding, which is an activity you guys will be doing today. Um, and then. The class really just, it'll go over how big companies use all the data they gather to show you ads. So like if you are going on the internet and you search up for like anything you search and then you go back to your social media and you see a bunch of ads on it, you'll learn why and how that happens in this class and you'll learn a bunch of other stuff. You can mess up many times and even though you messed up, as long as you keep working at it, Eventually, you'll get it. You will mess up a lot. I've been on. I've been stuck on the same error in a piece of code for like four days of class, trying to figure out how to fix it. And I mean, I use my classmates' help a lot. I'm like, hey, can you can you look at this and try to figure it out? And a lot of times they'll be like, dude, you're missing a semicolon right here. And I'll be like, oh, well, that was four days wasted on a semicolon, but that's how it is in coding. I think it's exciting, it's kind of like finding a puzzle in it all the time. What's the number one thing you've learned about being in front of the class versus being in the class? Uh, it's mostly about how somehow teachers manage to always keep control of their students and keep their focus because I know I'm one of the students that's always talking and abrupting the teacher. So when you're up there, it's, I don't know, for the most part I've had the focus of the students but I don't know how the teachers are always keeping control of the students. Garrett, how will this make you a better student, having stood in front of the class now? Um, it probably would help me um, appreciate what the teachers do more. Um, I know for sure um, it's been a very good learning process, just learning how, sort of how the teachers keep the attention. That's definitely probably the hardest part of it all. If you ever have to do this again, what are you going to do differently? Try and be more, I guess, show more like expression, um, excitement, stuff like that. Because that seemed to get their attention the most um, and help keep it. Um, it's just showing excitement of what you're trying to teach.